I'm gonna go grab the tier 7s real quick, then the tier 8s once I upgrade these two, and then the tier 9s and upgrade them all into tier 10s just so we can get enough points for the uh, totems. I don't know how much PKing I'll be doing today, I do want to make some more use of the actual event hunting, get more eggs, work on that. Um, but at the same time, I really could use that extra like 3 trill we get from the totems. And just save up that money for whatever else we may need, maybe work on the wander. Not in a rush for it, but it's nice to have it done so you don't... You know, you don't reach the end of the week, it's about the reason, and then you're like, Oh wait, fuck, I didn't do it, wait, I don't have enough money, oh, 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 shit like that. Gotta avoid that. Good luck to this good sir over here. Going for a claws right away and good fight. It was a good try, but I was a little quicker. Art Corones, good luck. Time to die to a voider. Although the last time I fought him, he was out of food so quick it didn't nothing really mattered. This is a bit dangerous on the bench, I'm not gonna lie. He has an Armadil crossbow. Well, you don't see that every day. It's an interesting combo, bro, but... Oh wait, he does have a deflector. Why does his Void Top look so weird? It doesn't look like fucking Void. Not because of the die, but because of the sleeve sticking through it. It's way too slow. It's way too slow. Shiza. Oh, you son of a bitch. What do you mean 1 HP? What do you mean 1 HP, bro? Redonkulous. Oh, just hit an instant double 60. How oh, did I know? Come on. Yay, we got him. Oh. Man, Voiders on one hand are so easy to kill because they have low defense. On the other hand, it's like the thing I fear the most. Because out of nowhere you get hit for like a 90 plus Debo with fucking throwing axes on top. Luckily we got away unscathed on that one. The latest update. Good luck to you. What time are we looking at? 19 minutes. Whenever I boost with the hourly stuff, like the one in POH, I use that to, you know, around and about gauge the timer. Don't risk it, thank you very much. To gauge the timer for when I need to use scrolls for hotspot, like for bounty hunter tasks. Okay. Um, so I try to watch that and then every 15 minutes or so I try to use a new hotspot scroll. God damn it, bro. Hold on, that was my bad. Didn't mean to eat that high. 12 into a 51, but he had a zero on the bench twice. Twice, not once, but twice, okay. I think what I dislike the most about the Balma is once you use the spec, you're stuck. You you can't spec again for another 10 seconds. Because it needs to be off its like special effect before you can spec again. They can't stack or nothing. That's a bit rough, so you're kind of like, when, when the spec fails to kill, you kind of lock yourself in until the next one. And like right there, zero spec, now I can't do anything again. Oh, not with the 64, bro. Oh, into a zero. Oh, some kills are just like... Or like some fights, it's just like, damn, bro, you should have died. I think you and I both know you should have died. But that's okay. I should have died for 5 trill at the start of this session. Oh my god, I almost killed me there. Woo -hoo -hoo. Close, close. One final chance, maybe? Or he tallies. I just go for it because I'm 58 HP. And that's pretty killable. Brother. Oh, lordy lord. No, no. Yeah, that's okay. Come on, Balmung. I'm, I believe in you, but not a lot. Is he DMing me? Aw, oh, that's very kind of him. I appreciate the sentiment. Yeah, I, 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 I figured. <laughs> Please don't somehow last minute kill me though, like... That would be terrifying if I bro. I appreciate the DM. A little karasi sword, I'll even give that back to him, because that doesn't feel too earned. Man, let me get my task set up and shit, damn. Good luck, next fight. Got another task for two kills. Not sure if this clip will stay in, but... I got a chance right away by an Eldemol poke. I see BA. Like motherfuckers can smell when you're actually going to hit. So all I did was hit zeros and shit. And then one time I hit, he timed his finch perfectly, you know what I mean? Or like he timed his hit on it. That was a bit of a shame, it was a great hit. Could have killed with the spec, but it didn't want to hit. Also heard you need like 5,000 crystal shards to make the upgraded sale lore. There's none of the upgraded ones for sale. If I am <laughs> for sale, haha. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> fucking hell. If I'm not mistaken, uh, it's a 
a lead wanderer task, I think. So that might also be the reason why there's so little of them in the market. So people sink them. Holy. <laughs> I just did them a 65, 63, bro. That's disgusting. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell? All right, next target. Good luck. Let's see if we can complete the task. We are also now officially on the tier 9 grind. Trying to complete these four that we have. Pink. Good fight. God, when it hits, it's just so OP, bro. I've yet to see a second crate. I don't know, bro. I feel like I used to see them very, very regularly. And now I'm barely seeing any at all. I, again, I could just be getting unlucky, but this is a little silly. And I'm using the Holiday Scroll, the Seasonal Thing, and the Hotspot Crystal. And we got zero caskets. Like, I've gotten four without the fucking Seasonal shit. Now I can't even get one? Really? It's not like we got that little kills this hour. Uh, either way, another task done 31 mil points. Oh, we gotta complete these three kills. Three more kills without dying. And then we can get 50 mil cursed BHs from it. Higher again, good luck to you. Or, let's say, air. Air, air to the throne. Princess of all dragons. 58 boom zero. Goddamn. I love it when it works out perfectly, like on that last fight, where you just did a whatever you need to get the kill. And sometimes it takes a few extra hits. Good fight, man. Again, no crate. What's up with the crates? Mr. SAO, good luck -o to you, oh. Just had a fight with the same guy three different times and not a single time did anyone die. Waste of time. I'm gonna finish my tier 10s. There's a severe lack of fights at the moment, which is crazy because Edge Hotspot is so fucking good. I don't understand why not more people make use of this. It's some of the best money making in the entire fucking game. Sure, you require a bit of RNG, and I know PK isn't for everyone, I totally understand, but. You know, with 262 players online, you would expect a bit more than three of them to be in the wildy, or at least to be in Edgeville. Decaying during an actual edge hotspot. It's not even like relying on the scroll or anything. It's proper edge hotspot. And it's still a little on the dead side. You just hate to see it. Oh. Yes, good fight. Oh, I was gonna say that combo had so much potential. Oh, cursed mystery crate. Finally, a second one. That is wonderful as well. How many? Was that my last one? No, one more. Just one more kill. Come on, we can do it. That will get us to 50 mil points. Bum KO'd. Good luck, man last fight hopefully if we can kill him if we're lucky enough and otherwise uh, we'll have to do another one but when it's uh, i love hp gang i really fucking do i just dislike how fucking empty it is most of the time and usually for long periods of time at that like it's a proper fucking edge hotspot why are not more people picking right now yeah good fight could try on the wrist though but uh yeah, that's the ball move for you. It's a little strong, ain't it? It can be frustrating when it hits a lot of zeros and you keep missing the kills. But when it works, it's fucking unbeatable. Like, as long as you're quick with it. That is four tier 10s completed. Let's go trade those in real quick. And we still have a bunch of, like, tier 4s remaining. So, definitely not the end of it. Trade emblems from inventory. 20 mil exactly. We have 31. So, 51 total. Bing, bang, boom. Five cursed totems. And hopefully they still sell for like 650 each. I would hope. This guy's undercutting everyone else. That's nice. There's really no point. They will sell regardless. Just a matter of a lot of people dumping them at the same time. We can ignore the 600 bill one because it's only a singular, singular one of them. I'll just uh, do 63 then. 630, 20 bill less, so that's 100 bill total less than 650. We can live with it. Alright, we have some money to spare, so why not get started on the Wanderer a bit? Would give me some peace of mind knowing that most of them are done. Swift bow into Blood Diamonds, a scythe into a Volatile, that's an expensive one, I don't like that. Red Halloween masks, I have those in the bank, and Blood Diamonds. I don't think I have enough diamonds at least. No, I just barely do. 
red Halloween mask. Let's just grab 10 of those. We can at least complete the easy and mediums. That's a good start. Two yellow party hats or whatever the amount was. Um, something went wrong there. Why do I only have... Oh, oh yeah, because I already traded them in. 20 primal boots. Primal? Primordial. Yellow party hat and primal boots. Oh, that is gonna be rough, isn't it? <gasps> 20 of those, bro. That's 1.6 trail plus. That's a ridiculous amount for an easy task. Okay. Or was that a medium already? Yeah, yeah the, the easy was yellow party. That is a medium, but that's still dumb expensive. Why are primal pieces like that so stupid hard to obtain? So we are stuck on primal boots, a whole ass nightmare staff volatile, and four lava relics? Uh huh. Well, the lava relics are currently going for. Well, there's one for 1.2, two for 1.3, so that's 2.6, 3.8, 5.1 just to complete the elite. That's rough. Exotic boxes aren't even that expensive anymore. But is it rough enough to reroll? That's the big question here. See, the issue is if I use my reroll and it goes into, you know, a fucking Scotizo maze or some shit, we are a lot more fucked than with this one. But at the same time, it could become an Enchanted Yoshi, a Crestbearer hat, Dagon High hat, or literally anything under Tree Trail. Which is a lot more reasonable. And the other tasks are kind of shitty right now anyway. I think I'm just going to go for a reroll and hope for the best. If this fails, I should be able to buy another reroll with the weekly being reset. No, that is wrong. It's Tuesday and it's 12 p.m. at the moment. 12 a.m.? It's 12 like lunchtime. <laughs> um, which means it doesn't reset for another couple of hours. So we'll have to do with what we get. No, I would say that's better. I mean, I did just spend 50 mil cursed BHs, so I can't get that cursed Festa longsword. Uh, but they were going quite cheap the other day. I sold mine pretty cheap as well. Blood Berserker pet and Nightmare and Lock 3.6. Yeah, it feels 3.6 hold up. Yes, 3.6 Trill is still significantly cheaper than, you know, the totems at the price they are going for. Mythic King? What the hell? Oh, oh. Hold up. Okay, I got five minutes. Nightmare and Luck Scroll. I'm not sure how expensive that one is at the moment. That is dumb. It is not worth 2.5 trill. I guarantee it. Blood Berserker. That is doable. Do I have any? Just in case. Before I buy one. No, I don't. Okay. Okay, well, buy the Blood Berserker pet, which, again, stupid expensive. Hello? Ah, whatever. I don't care that much. I've sold all of mine for like 50 bills, so... That's one to reset day for you. Well, it reset yesterday, but you can still see the effects of it. What was my heart? Oh yeah, the Nightmare on Luck. I think you bind it with Cursed Bounty Hunters as well. Um, I'll have to check in a second. Cursed VLS at least done. We just need to complete that last hard step, and that's another 2.5k tokens for the mini pets. Nightmare on Luck scroll right here for 25 mil points. That's nothing. That's like a really low amount. Um just spend all of them, damn it. I'll just get that later myself when I get the points true tasks. That should be fine. All right. All right, little uh, King Mythic Dragon incoming. Always looks so dope. I'm so glad I got Mythic rank now. Like, we've barely spoken about it much, but I am really happy to have this rank and uh, the ability to use a spawner for some decent NPCs. I might try out like Mythical Tecton later or some shit. But uh, yeah, lots of stuff to look forward to. Good luck on the dragon. Oh, someone with a $10, nice. You know what, guys? I'm probably gonna spend most of today just hunting more revenants anyway. Just because I would like it. What? That's the one I'm looking for. Uh, well, just because I want to get the kit, I want to get the outfit done and all of that. And we have 52k tokens so far. So I was just thinking, why not get the superior unlock first? And then just keep hunting them. Once Cerberus uh, reset comes around, that's completely fine. We can do that after the, uh, well, as long as it's today, we just have to get another 50k, right? 
For seven days, you'll have a chance to encounter superior variants of revenants in the mythic and cosmic dominator zone. We're gonna spend quite a bit of time here the first week anyway, because there's a lot of mythic related stuff we need to unlock. So now we can get superiors with better drop rates occasionally. We don't have like a spring ref pet or anything, but that's fine. It will just aid us a little bit extra with those occasional spawns. I thought I just got an armor kit. I was like, no way, bro. <laughs> Ooh, we just, oh, look at that. Right away. Superior, second kill. Well then. See, and that's why I think this might be worth it. You can get unbound price keys, mythic armor kits, Everest, but look at those drop rates. So commonly, totem pieces for Scotizos in the future. Lots of great stuff.